Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Launcher Pixel Edition on the Galaxy Fold 3. As of late, I made some videos talking about the Fold Edition coming to the Pixel lineup. And I kind of compared it a lot to the Galaxy Fold 1. But what if you have the Galaxy Fold 3 running the same exact look? Let's go ahead and take a look. So starting off right away, this is the outer display, the 6.2 inch. And yes, this is a Fold 3. This is not a Google Pixel Fold. I do not have an early prototype slash copy of it. But to be honest, from the naked eye, you might actually get confused. Taking a look at this, this actually looks a lot like what we see out of the images and the renders of the brand new Pixel Fold. Starting off with the very bottom layout of the course with the dock. And of course, we have this Google search icon right there and then going ahead and just sliding up you guys can see we have an app drawer of what a regular google pixel would look like and honestly it does look absolutely gorgeous i think it's a really nice design i will say google out of all the companies that come out with different designs for their products Google does a really, really good job at creating a really unique and beautiful looking design. Now at the very bottom here, we actually have two applications with two, two things. First off, we have our app drawer settings, which we can of course change any kind of information we want on that. And our second one here is actually creating a folder where we can create folders to put different applications inside, which is actually really, really dope. Now we go ahead and go back to the main screen right here. We go ahead and long press on this display. You guys can see we do have customized edit home screen home settings wallpaper and widgets again we can add any widgets we want to this home screen and you can even make it more realistic to what a google pixel 4 would look like if you want to go ahead and compare it exactly identically to every little detail that they do go ahead and show off in the renders now if we go ahead and open up this brand new galaxy fold galaxy fold pixel i don't even know what name i would even call it i, I kind of wanted to create a unique name there but you guys can see it does have that what we've seen out of the renders that pixel s design we have our little thing down here our docking station and you guys can see we have four different applications down here and of course we can go ahead and put as many applications as we want around the whole entire rest of the device now if we go ahead and scroll up you guys can see now we have a bigger looking of the same app drawer we saw before and again like i said it's just is this the simplicity of the design that i really do like about the pixel lineup it's just the color scheme i think the color scheme is a really beautiful color scheme uh, but if I scroll down, the same concept applies as when it was the bigger, you know, smaller 6.2 inch display as it is for the bigger display. Now, if we go ahead and turn it sideways, the same concept does apply, except I kind of do like it sideways. I don't know. Maybe just because of the horizontal design, I do like and it. Obviously, it's bigger for your hands and you can use both hands just like this. Go ahead and scroll up and down. I just like it a little bit better for that reason. Now, if you go ahead and do it sideways, you guys can see now all my applications on my dock is on the right hand side of the screen. Now, if you scroll over from the left to right, you guys see we have this window right here, which I'm not sure exactly what this is for. It might be used for something in the future, but at this moment in time, I'm not sure what it's actually used for. Now, if you scroll from left to right, we actually get our same app drawer we just had before. So it's the same concept, whether you scroll up or down, or you scroll left or right left or right is just going to give you that more simplicity of it just being an actual list of different applications while if you scroll up to down it's going to be you know more or less just the actual full one screen being taken over so if you just want to go and go to one quick application scroll to the left click on that application it opens up no issue at all or if you want to go ahead and get the complete list of it you just scroll straight from down to up and you get the full list of different applications now i will say like i said before at the end of the day, is this what the Google Pixel 4 would look like? Most likely, yes. It's going to look almost identical to what you see on the screen right now. The only difference is we know on the outside display, it's going to go ahead and give us a beautiful 6.2 inch display but it's going to be a lot of bezels that's going to take away from that beautiful design and that beautiful look to it so i will say that is going to be an l for that reason because we're going to see the same kind of look that we saw out of the uh what's called fold one which 
it's not a bad design it just doesn't give us as much of a beautiful look as i would love it for it to give us now if we go ahead and add a widget let's go ahead and add a widget to the uh, home screen here let's go ahead and go to widgets and there's, again like i said there's so many different widgets you can go ahead and see we got chrome we got clock all that kind of good stuff let's go ahead and go with clock here so i gotta touch and hold a widget go ahead and hold on to the home screen and then i can go ahead and uh create bam and now i have my alarm clock set right there and actually i think i'm gonna have to um Hang on, I think I have to set it to allow my location. Here we go. Um, is that gonna work? Okay, it looks like it's a little glitchy. It's not really, not 100% cooperating with me, but let's go ahead and see. Let's do Netflix, actually. Let's just put Netflix on the application, just like that, bam. Has my Netflix application right there, ready to go whenever I need it. So I will say, like I said before, it is a beautiful design. And I can't wait to see the Google Pixel honestly come out, the Google Pixel Fold. I think it's going to be a really amazing design. And if they really take a lot from this, you know, Galaxy Fold 3, they can make this phone even that much better. And I think any kind of, you know, any kind of like look from the Galaxy Fold 3 to a Google Pixel lineup for even cheaper. That's the big thing about the Google Pixel I've been talking about a lot is that it's going to be a lot cheaper most likely than the Galaxy Fold 3 is. It's probably going to come in the price tag of $999 all the way up to $1,200, which is actually a lot more affordable for the general consumer, which is an absolute W for everybody. It also adds more competition to the affordable phone market, which I do like immensely. Uh, but guys, again, like I said before, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Do you like this concept? Do you like how this looks or... Are you personally going to say, hey, listen, I'm just not interested in the whole Google Pixel type affordable phone market. It's just not for me. I'd love to hear your opinions down below, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe right down below. About to try and hit 2,000 or 1,000 subscribers by Christmas. You guys hit that subscribe button. Even one person hit the subscribe button. You do help out the channel immensely. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.